Democrats are gun I, owners too. Not many of them, but un unfortunately not many of them. I, I would appreciate if more of you would exercise your rights and stop trying to take away mine. That was uh, uh, State Representative C.D. Davidsmeyer during floor debates in the Illinois House Friday of a measure that would bring about a whole bunch of changes to the state's gun laws. And uh, we'll talk about those in a moment. But again, uh, reviewing some of the numbers I got from Illinois State Police on the number of firearm transfer information program reports that were filed during that six-day injunction week that the state was enjoined from enforcing the state's uh, law. Welcome back. It is Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk, and uh, tons to get to in this ongoing story of uh, the, the state's gun and magazine ban and all of the uh, various ins and outs of the litigation that there is, but also state lawmakers looking to craft even more legislation to impact gun owners in the state of Illinois. Uh, but with the F-tips that were filed, the Firearm Transfer Information Program numbers for that six-day injunction window, uh, again, if we we look at the Illinois State Police's website for FOID data. Uh, it also includes FTIP data. And December of 2022, you had 51,837 for the total month of December leading up to that uh, law being put in place that uh, bans the sale of certain types of weapons. Uh, dropped off drastically in January, 39,245. Then in February, 34,749. In March, you had 37,650. Now, the numbers I got from Illinois State Police, there's a few holes in these numbers, and you can see between April 20th and 27th, you know, there's an average of about 1,000 or so, but in May 1st, uh, a few days after the injunction was issued, jumped up to 1,600, and then a few more uh, days' worth of numbers, all totaling 8,454 F-tip requests in just one week of the injunction being in place. Now, the Southern District of Illinois' injunction was stayed by the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals. We'll talk a lot more about all the litigation that's going back and forth in this, but that gives you an idea of just how many gun owners there were that went out and purchased firearms and the question of what's going to happen to them. Governor J.B. Pritzker said last week, nobody's going after anybody, but he said the law is that you can't be in possession of weapons after the law was enacted January 10th of 2022 come whenever the registry is supposed to be put in place on uh, January 1st of 2024. Uh, so that's the latest in the, the total numbers. But again, lawmakers are advancing legislation at the Illinois State House that deals with a variety of things. We talked about uh, House Bill 676, which uh, does the, uh, the, the, the omnibus package. It removed the element that says you can't discharge a firearm a thousand yards from a residential area. It still would stay at 300 yards, uh, but they removed that portion. They kept a whole bunch of other portions in there, including the issue of the uh, orders of protection and whether or not uh, somebody has to relinquish their firearms to law enforcement rather than somebody who has a firearm owner ID card. Uh, and this was obviously a uh, point of contention in that debate and something that uh, led to a lot of pushback on this omnibus bill. But regardless, that bill ultimately did pass. There's something else to that passed last week, and that is uh, House Bill 218. And this is the bill that would uh, deal with the uh, uh, gun manufacturers possibly being um, hit with civil liability charges. Uh, this measure did pass the Illinois House and is queued up for the Illinois Senate. And what's interesting here is the law, it spells out, you know, the different uh, definitions, uh, but it also spells out unlawful paramilitary or private militia. And it says that means a group of armed individuals organized privately in violation of the military code of Illinois, Section 2, Article 12 of the Illinois Constitution. It is an unlawful practice within the meaning of this act by any firearm industry member through the sale, manufacturing, importing, or man marketing of a firearm-related product to do any of the following. Knowingly create, maintain, or contribute to a condition in Illinois that endangers the safety and health of the public by conduct either unlawful in itself or unreasonably un under all circumstances, including failing to establish or utilize reasonable controls. Reasonable controls include reasonable procedures, safeguards, and business practices that are designed to prevent the sale or distribution of firearm related products and the straw purchasers, a person prohibited by law from possessing a firearm or a person who the firearm industry member has reasonable cause to believe that it's substantial risk of using firearm related products to harm themselves or other individuals. 
So you can read more uh, going through this particular bill uh, and uh, what's going on with uh, with how they're looking to further regulate uh, gun owners in the state of Illinois. Uh, so these are advancing at the state house uh, these these various bills, and uh, we'll watch as they come up in the Illinois Senate. They are done. They adjourn Friday, so uh, we could see these bills, these two bills. Uh, House Bill 218 and House Bill 676 uh, further advance at the Illinois State House, but a lot of questions and concerns about how it's impacting gun owners, especially with the thousands uh, of gun owners that purchased weapons uh, during the six-day injunction window. Again, 8,454, just in the numbers we've got. Uh, we don't have the numbers for April 28th or the 29th, but for the numbers we've got for the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th of May, that totals 8,454. If we get the April 28th and 29th numbers, is that going to show uh, even more, thousands more that uh, that had firearm transfer information program reports filed to Illinois State Police. A lot to come on that uh, and more, uh, including uh, continued conversation about the ongoing litigation in Illinois. Stay tuned. We'll get to that coming up next.